podcast where we focus on helping you claim what's rightfully yours, your health, and your freedom. We explore the three main areas of health, the physical realm, the biochemical realm, and the mental and emotional realm. We also explore all the areas of lifestyle we can find that will help you live more abundantly, regardless of where you're starting. And remember, in life, you'll either make excuses or create results. You choose. I'm your host, Dr. Josh Hant, and I'm glad to be with you here today. Make sure to head on down to the show notes and click on the link to join our tribe of human-powered life heroes, where we'll update you on new shows, events, product launches, and so much more. Now, it's time to enjoy the show. everyone, Dr. Josh Hand here for the Human Powered Life Podcast. And today I want to talk to you about day zero. Day zero is a powerful day in the world of your health, in the world of your life, in the world of your freedom. So day zero, what does that actually mean? You know, I talk about day zero from time to time and day zero means different things in different stages of your life and what that may mean for your health. It may mean being in the prep phase of maybe going on a fast. It may be the prep phase for starting a cleanse. It may be getting ready to say, hey, I'm ready to lose 10 pounds, and I'm gonna take those next steps, okay, to prep that. In business, can mean other things. In our practice, in the chiropractic practice, what it does mean is we wanna have these great conversations with our patients before they even show up in the office so they know why they are coming in. So we can actually let them know and teach them a little bit about who and what we we do in the practice, but also how it can help them in practice. So I would urge all of you, whether it's in business, maybe in the planning phase, whether it's in your health, in that prep phase, or anything in life, because frankly, we are a product of our daily habits. We are a product of how we prep and plan for life, and we are a product of how we actually take action and move forward in life. So wherever you are, you can make these changes. You can have a day zero all the time. It doesn't mean we have a day zero and then it just keeps moving forward. You know what? We're allowed to pivot in life. We're allowed to make these changes in life. So I would urge all of you, to really think about a day zero. And you may have to plan for that day zero. Some people wait for New Year's Eve to say, you know what, I'm gonna do these next few things to prep for the year. Most people, when they have these resolutions, don't do anything. Some do. So you don't have to have to wait for that New Year's Eve resolution prep time, rushing stuff in and trying to do certain things in your life and nothing happened because of that poor planning. I would recommend ultimately that you pick a day zero and you start planning now for that day zero, right? So great, next week is gonna be my day zero day. And what I'm gonna do now is come up with some ideas, some goals, some things in life that I actually can plan for. And you may want to have a day zero for your business life, a day zero for your health life, a day zero for your relationship life, a day zero for the fun in your life. All too often, we forget to plan things that are good for us. We forget to plan on being healthy. We forget to plan on having fun. You know, we hear this word hustle all the time. And hustle is a great thing. I believe hustle is a really great thing when you want to charge towards a goal. I also want you to realize that you should have some perspective and step back as you're hustling. But you want to make sure you're attracting the right people, things, ideas, whatever may be into your life. And while you're hustling, not pushing people out of your life. Because those people may be very important in your life. It may be a family member, maybe a spouse, maybe a child. So remember to plan those fun times with family, with friends, with yourself, right? You may need a a date with yourself type of day where maybe you're going to a spa or anything like that. So your day zero 
going back to that day zero is really, really a powerful tool to set the planning, to start putting things on paper. I would urge all of you to get yourself a notebook, one of these big fancy, for those of you that are watching, a, you know, this is a three subject one, and you can do this for the different areas of your life should you want, but I would ultimately recommend that you just get a basic notebook and start putting things down on paper. Because what we found with goal setting, with making changes in your health and your life, when you put things down on paper, things actually happen. When you don't and you wish these things would happen or you just plainly think about them from time to time when they come into your mind, these things do not happen. So setting an intention by putting things on paper is the actual act of telling the universe you want certain things to happen for you and to you. Because you've heard me say in the past, the universe is always conspiring for you. But what are you putting into the universe? Are you putting just random thoughts into the universe? Or are you actually putting a directed energy into the universe? Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about harnessing this energy with meditation and putting that intention out there, clear and true, to actually focusing yourself, opening yourself up so you can create these changes. And this simple act, and I'm not asking you to meditate, I'm not asking you to do anything. I would simply just make the simple recommendation that you should, but the simple recommendation is to get yourself a little notebook, a notepad, and start your day zero right now. Plan ahead to maybe have another day zero. Put some intentions, put some goals down, put some ideas down. Let these things marinate. Because as you charge forward and move through this process of your day one, day two, day three, day four in this journey, things may pivot, things may change. Things may not go the way you want them to. And remember, these are just learning lessons. So to come full circle with this, I know this is a you know just a short six or seven minute video and audio that we're sharing. I want all of you to really pay attention to what's going on in your life. Are you happy where you are? Whether it's financially, with your family, with your relationships, with your friends and others, with your health. And I can tell you, without your health, it's hard to have all of the other things. Because I tell you, when you start to break down your health, it's not a pleasant thing. So in the world of health and the Human Powered Life podcast, and you having the right and the freedom of choice to make the decisions you ultimately want in your life and in your health, start your day zero. Start it as soon as you can. Get that planning and that prep phase going in your life. Because once you have that plan and that prep going, and it gets locked down, Maybe it'll pivot, but once it gets locked down, then the action steps will start to happen. Then that forward momentum will start to happen. And at that point, as you see those goals on the horizon, as you see those wins for yourself on the horizon, you can see what action steps and pivot points you may need to make along the way. So you may have multiple day zeros just for one goal. And I think that's really, really cool. Because what happens oftentimes, and, and I see this with myself personally, so I'll just share this. I'm a great starter, and oftentimes I fizzle, whether it's with journaling, whether it's with reading, whether it's with podcasting, whatever it may be, I'm a great starter. I love the initiation of these things. I oftentimes don't see things fully through. Other times I oftenly do. So I urge all of you to take that step and be realize that, okay, it's great to be a great starter. Some of you may be great in the process. Some of you may be great at attaining those goals. Just see where you are, accept it, and move forward. Because ultimately I want all of you to become healthier, happier, and enjoy this journey that we're all on in this wonderful world of crazy. So I'm Dr. Josh Hand here for the Human Power Life Podcast. Make sure to check us out anywhere podcasts are found, and we'll see you on the next episode. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Human Powered Life Podcast. Make sure to head over to LifestyleLocker.com to check out all the details on the show and to watch part two of this episode, which is only in video format. We also have this audio portion in video format if you want. 
Once again, I'm your host, Dr. Josh Hant for the Human Powered Life Podcast, and I'm looking forward to staying connected with you as a human powered life hero. Remember to join the tribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.